Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video we're on The Flash Season 5. Today we're going to be doing my review for Episode 16, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so this episode was amazing. I absolutely loved it. It was really tense. I really, really felt the fight scenes. I thought the fight scenes were especially good. And I thought all that it set up was very exciting. And it's something different. Like, it wasn't just the same old Cicada runs away and so forth. So I really appreciated that and I really liked the episode. So let's get right into this and start breaking it down, talking about what I loved. Because really, I did not like anything in this episode. Alright, so the first bit I want to talk about is the opening. So we get to see Nora and Reverse Flash in 2049. It looks like his time is, you know, ticking down a bit and he doesn't have very long, so he seems to be a bit on edge. But you see him as he's playing with his, you know, future device. I don't know what it is, like a version of Gideon. And the timeline, he says, is changing before their eyes and it's sort of glitching. You get to see this newspaper article called The Flash and Cicada's Final Battle, which we'll talk about later, but it's sort of glitching and Reverse Flash explains it as the timeline is changing before the rise, someone or something is coming. And so this is all set in 2049, so this is the fact that I think this does actually tease Godspeed, but I think it also teased Cicada's, you know, massive reveal at the end of the episode, which we'll get to later, but I think there is a lot of reason to believe they are still talking about Godspeed because it's someone changing the timeline and Cicada can't change the timeline. That's just, it can't happen. So, I think the the fact that the timeline is changing, I think that's due to another force rather than actually the force we saw at the end of this episode. And so I, I still believe it's Godspeed or I believe it's someone with the power of the speedsters to change the timeline because it's not Cicada. So I think that's what they were teasing there, but also teasing the end of the episode as well. And so let's move on to talk about the next thing. So Nora reveals to Barry early on in the episode that today is the day you stop Cicada. And so Nora has to explain it, like how does she know this, why hasn't she said it before? And so we know why, because Reverse Flash only just told her. So she's in a rush because they don't have much time and today is the day they're supposed to stop Cicada. And they do. At the end of the episode, they do, and we'll talk about that in just a second, but we'll talk about the changes. And so, I really, really liked this scene early in the episode. There was XS getting her new coffee. I thought it was just a really pure and nice and innocent scene, and I sort of giggled a lot, which was nice as well. And so, I'm going to skip to the end of the episode. We're going to talk about that final battle. So, we actually had the supposed final battle just before that in, you know, the middle of the episode or so, and so... Barry's blasted onto a car and Cicada gets away and I thought, oh crap, this is just one of the sort of same ways they're going to end off the episode, like, oh, Cicada gets away. But no, it was a really good ending and we'll talk about that right now. So they interrogate C Cicada's doctor and they get information about how to meet Dwyer and so on. And so they actually convince Cicada to take the metahuman cure and they literally do it which is crazy I wasn't expecting it to go like that but he's actually a human now so it seems like this version of Cicada is actually you know going to be a human he, he's not going to be the main threat for the rest of the season and so that scene was incredibly tense like when they were about to administer it I thought something was gonna go wrong nothing went wrong so I really appreciated that I liked that a lot in the episode but then something goes wrong the power goes off and a different version of Cicada blasts through the window of Star Labs and Grace's Cicada arrives. So this was an amazing reveal. Obviously we saw this earlier in the season, but that was inside her head. I thought they sort of just forgot about that, but yeah, there's a lot of explaining to do. This version of Cicada's, you know, niece or adopted daughter is actually Cicada. She has all the powers because of the shard in her head and she's got these two like daggers I don't know specifically what they are if they're the same or not but she's able to use Cicada's one as well and she's able to blast like the powers from her hand and that scene was incredible I loved it totally badass it was sort of like a ninja film or something where she was using like shurikens or something and I, I really liked it a lot and so she destroys everything in Star Labs but the question is how the hell did she come back how 
is this older version of Grace that we see, you know, beyond before our eyes actually existing because she's definitely from the future. And how did she get back in the past? I don't know. And that's what we have to theorize about because she says, I've missed you to her dad, who obviously is her adopted dad, but she's back from the future presumably and so she's got cicada now well he's not really cicada anymore and so cicada is gone and now we have this new cicada and that is very very exciting to me and so i believe next episode they're probably going to tell the origins of this new cicada of grace from the future so they don't specifically know it's grace from the future but we do so how the hell is she back from the future? Well, I have a theory. Like I said earlier in this episode, I think what they teased with Reverse Flash and Nora at the start of the episode with the timeline changing was to do with this new version of Cicada coming. But Cicada, this new version, has to have come back from the future somehow. And like I said, Cicada can't time travel. There is no way she can time travel by herself. So she's been getting help. And so it's not like breach into another earth when you can use a device or anything. She's getting help. And who's appearing in a few episodes time? Godspeed. I think Godspeed perhaps, and again, I have to reiterate, this is me theorizing, but I think Godspeed could perhaps be helping this version of Cicada who goes on to actually continue in the future in this new version of the timeline. And that's why we see Godspeed in episode 18. And Godspeed is working with this new version of Cicada. And they're like a tag team or something. Because Godspeed wants to kill the speedsters. She wants to kill the metahumans. So again it makes sense. And Godspeed can time travel. He's a speedster. Cicada can't time travel. So she needs the help of someone who is a speedster. Or someone who has like a machine like in Legends of Tomorrow. Who can time travel in the past. So. I think this is all lining up to a team up between this new version of Cicada and Godspeed. I think that is very, very logical. I think it could definitely happen and I think it's probably going to happen because we know Godspeed's coming in episode 18 and there's been obviously no explanation as to why he's coming yet. So it makes sense. It does make a lot of sense. So I think that's potentially what's happening. And remember, next episode is episode 17. And then we have 18, which is Godspeed's episode. So maybe Godspeed appears at the end of, you know, next episode. Because supposedly it's going to be like a sort of them discovering this new version of Grace. Like where she came from and so on. And it's called Time Bomb. And we know they're going to be time traveling somehow. I don't know how, but... And this is the episode where Nora is going to actually reveal what she's been doing with Reverse Flash to Barry. And that's going to be devastating and I can't wait. But we'll break that trailer down later today. So make sure to turn on notifications to not miss that. But anyway, let's go back and talk about some other things. So in this episode, we had some really nice moments between Barry and Joe when they're at CCPD. They're talking together. I really appreciated that. It's just so nice having Joe around because, again... You don't realise until someone's gone how much they mean to the show and how much they contribute. Even if Joe's not such a big character, this episode he actually contributed a lot. So I really liked him in this episode and they were able to, you know, get the Doctor to actually convince her by the use of Cecile and Joe interrogating together. So it all sort of lined up, everyone's stories came together. And so Nora's list is revealed that she had these specific pinpoints in time that she wanted to go back and experience and that is what she did in season four so that was sort of like a smaller reveal but it's still a reveal that she wanted to go back to these specific points in season four like you know barry's wedding and all these different other points like the baby shower and i think there was two other times she appeared last season so it was all not because of reverse flash it was because of her having this list as to what she wants to do in the past to see these specific moments as you would if you were able to time travel and you know not mess everything up but I think due to the timeline changing I don't think it's Team Flash's fault with the timeline changing this time I think like I said it's this new version of Cicada coming from the future you know being aided by someone and them being able to come back to the past so everything is destroyed again they're gonna have to fix Star Labs up and they're going to have to you know try and get our version of cicada back and they're going to try and find out who this version of cicada is 
and so I believe Grace is probably going to be the main villain for the rest of the season, but according to leaks, Godspeed is going to be recurring throughout the back back half of the season, so like the last few episodes, and into season 6, so I find that very, very interesting, again, that's just leaks, so I don't know if that's going to be true or not, but he's 100% appearing, and my theory is Godspeed is working with Grace to bring her back in time, and then they probably work together in the future. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DCTV videos. And tonight we'll have my Flash trailer breakdown. It's an amazing trailer. I can't wait to talk about it. It's the episode titled Time Bomb. So, anyway guys, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.